Hey all, how is everyone? You're with me, Mr. Dex, and welcome to the channel for a little chat about aim assist. Now there's a lot of controversy around the aim assist features on the console version of Battlefield 1. A lot of people argue that the feature is way too powerful and they seem to really hate it, whereas others have reasonably argued that it's just a feature of the game and it's up to the player to decide whether or not to use it. In some ways, I agree with the sentiment. Um, it is ultimately the player's choice. Uh, but I also think the aim assist can work better for some guns than others, and it overcomes DICE's effort to balance the weapons with things like increased recoil and slower rates of fire. Um, this makes some weapons overpowered, and while all classes seem to benefit from this, what ends up happening is that everyone ends up using the same old weapons, and that I think is just not very good for the game. But love it or hate it, for Battlefield 1 at least, it won't be changing. So the important question is, should you have it on or off? And also, can it be beaten? But before I answer that, I should first explain what aim assist actually is. It's a feature that has two components. The first is called slowdown, which decreases the sensitivity when you're aiming on or near an enemy. The second is called auto rotation, and that helps you sort of snap to a target by centering your aim over the target when you look down sights. And it kind of helps you follow moving targets as well. When people complain about aim assist, nine times out of 10, they are referring to the auto rotation because you can see that it is to some extent automating the actual aiming process. However, back to the question of the day, should you have it on or off? Short answer is, it really depends. Now, to clarify my position on aim assist, I think it's way too strong on Battlefield 1, as it standardized player's abilities, and it's very easy to exploit. However, my answer to the question is not influenced by my opinion at all. Objectively, you should have it on if it's going to advantage you, and turn it off if you think you can play better without it. But how do you know if you could perform better or not? The easiest way to tell is if you feel like you're fighting with the aim assist a lot of the time, it's probably a sign you should turn it off. But maybe you don't even notice when you're fighting against it, so I thought I'd give you a couple of examples of where the aim assist could disadvantage you. The first one is that auto rotation is not great at keeping up with fast moving targets, which means you have to readjust your aim after you aim down sights, which can be tricky and slow. So if you're noticing that you're getting killed a lot while you stand still and correct your aim, this might be why. The second is that if your weapon is not a one hit kill machine and you have to aim down your sights a while, if there are multiple enemies standing near your target, the aim assist will just spaz out and jump between them, making an accurate shot basically impossible. This is particularly prevalent with any medium range engagements, including vehicles, so if you're doing a lot of aiming, particularly over middle distance, auto rotation may be messing you up. And lastly, and this refers mostly to snipers, it snaps to the middle of the chest, which is great if it's in your sweet spot range, but if it's not and you need a headshot, you have to readjust your aim, which may get you killed. If you've practiced enough without the aim assist, you'll be faster without it turned on, which makes a big difference. But just in case this really hasn't helped you decide, I'll give you an example. If you play with a shotgun, you're not going to be advantaged by turning auto rotation off. The auto rotation, I think, performs better and faster than any human could. Um, you don't need headshots. Close range means the target really has to be moving fast to avoid your shots. So don't disadvantage yourself. Conversely, I think infantry snipers would be better off without. You spend quite a bit of time aiming down your sights and at mid-range, um, and you'd benefit greatly from faster headshots, and your targets will often be moving. So use your judgement. As I mentioned, if you find that you have to fight it a lot, try turning it off. I play as a sniper mostly, so what I did was I only played at my sweet spot range for a while, till I got used to following targets and snapping to them without the auto rotation, and then I gradually moved in closer, where the players would be moving across my screen faster, and require larger uh, and faster aiming movements from me to keep up with them. So that's one idea. Do what you want. Uh, but just don't expect instant results. If you do decide to turn it off, I would also recommend turning the soldier stick acceleration down to zero. Um, this is a feature that accelerates your aim the longer you direct your analog stick. Um, it works well when both you have low sensitivity and the aim assist are on the auto rotation, um, but without that auto rotation, it's going to wreak havoc on your muscle memory um, and you'll never improve, but just a suggestion. So hopefully that helps you decide, guys. But how about to play against it? The idea is simple. Find a weakness in the auto rotation and exploit it. I mentioned a few weaknesses earlier. The first one was that auto rotation can't snap to moving targets. In close range, you'll be moving across the screen faster. And in mid range, the bullets take more time to get there so you can get out of the way. So rapid, fast movements will mess up weaker players. Turn to the side, sprint, and then turn back to shoot. This works best with snipers, but in any case, move as much as possible. Uh, why? Many players rely way too heavily on the snap feature, uh, so they see a target and automatically aim down sights and fire. If you're moving across their screen quickly at this point, they are very likely to miss. A stationary player is a dead one, so don't stop moving. 
Also, a sneaky little trick is when confronted with a player in super close range, sprint slide towards them, but just to the side and try and get behind them. Aim assist won't spin you 180 degrees, so if you're still alive by the time you get behind them, you've won. This works especially well if your sensitivity is high and theirs isn't, because not many players adjust their sensitivity, um, it works quite well. The use second cover. point is to use cover to protect your body. Aim assist snaps to the chest, so protect it. Incorporate little sideways movements while peeking your head out of cover and you'll be especially hard to hit. Try to avoid lying down, because then a snap to the chest becomes a snap to the head, which is literally an infantry sniper's wet dream. Basically, just play smarter. Adjust your playstyle so that when you get into 1v1s, your would-be killer can't just rely on an auto-rotation kill. Position yourself so you have the advantage. Um, this is not going to work every time, but it will help. You'll die less and you'll get less frustrated. But anyway, I hope that helps you decide whether or not aim assist is for you, or at the very least, it helps you understand how it works a little better um, so you can adjust your playstyle and win more 1v1s. Honestly, when it comes down to it, do whatever you want. I personally have the auto-rotation off, but it's up to you. It's a mechanic that's part of the game and it's there to be used. So if you think it helps a lot, I'd leave it on. But if you're wondering if you could play better without it, I'd try turning it off. Um, it's very possible that in a short while you'll be much faster and much more accurate without it. But that's enough for me, guys. Um, thanks very much for watching the video. And don't forget to like or subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Um, and let me know your thoughts about the aim assist in the comments. Especially if you think I've missed something. Um, but thanks again, guys. Till next time, take care.